<laughs> I know, uh, but I want to get to Jim Chalmers' essay. He's been mocked yep. for writing this 6,000-word essay in the Left Wing Monthly about how it's going to design a better capitalism, to steer businesses into investing more into what Labor wants. Now, today, former Liberal Treasurer Peter Costello fired back. He said, governments are there to decide on social objectives and, bu and business is there to run businesses and account to shareholders. He's not too keen on this co-investment thing. What do you reckon? Uh, has he got a point here? Well, Andrew, the, the main thing that I took away from that very lengthy essay, uh, Capitalism After Crises with Jim Chalmers, is that I reckon there could be a fairly lucrative business deal for Jim Chalmers there if he paired up with some supplements like magnesium and he did a package of how to get to sleep at night. <laughs> Uh, because 6,000 words is a lot when you're speaking about the economy and I definitely admire his uh, commitment to getting across his policy, but I think there were quite a few uh, gaps in the practicalities of how we actually turn that into something in government. And I also think uh, it's, it's admirable when politicians try to explain the nuance and complexities to policy because I'm a big advocate for not trying to make everything digestible in a 280-character tweet. However, I think 6,000 is taking it a little too far. I wish we had a bit of a middle ground there, a couple of hundred words perhaps, uh, to really iron out some of his things there. Nah, look, the link doesn't bother me so much if it's got something serious and important with examples in it. There were no examples. But listen, Lucy, I have been, I have been critical. This is true. And there has been mockery. What have I missed in this? What was the best bit in this essay for you? I think it's... I've never actually seen a group of conservative commentators um, collectively need to have a cup of chamomile tea and have a lie down. I mean, what the, I believe and I took out of the essay was something that I think a lot of already business leaders are already doing. You've heard of investors going after ESG principles, environmental, social, governance. It's why uh, consumers are wanting co uh, companies to, that have a social licence. It's why you're seeing supermarkets like Woolworths do ads that actually aren't even selling a roll of toilet paper or a box of wheat bix. Uh, they're doing ads about their environmental credentials. It's why big banks, you'll find them in a country footy field kicking around a football saying that they're supporting community sporting groups. Uh, customers and investors are expecting businesses to have social licences and so I actually don't see anything dramatic around connecting values with the economy. Yeah, then again, I'm pretty sick of that ESG thing and for many it's sort of like greenwashing whatever. I mean, stick to the bottom line, grow a business. I mean, someone in really into ESG was that uh, cryptocurrency crowd that uh, lost their investors' money. I wish they'd stuck to bookkeeping more. <laughs>